Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do, um, touch my camera I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna do a makeover of these uh, Russian dolls. I've had these lying around for like, oh my goodness, that screech though. For so long and they are so boring. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I should do something fun with this. So here I am. I'm gonna, oh my, that sound, stop it. <laughs> I gotta fix that first, clearly. <laughs> Anyways. So, I started off with trying to sand down those edges to stop that horrible shrieking sound which filled miserably. Then I added a layer of paint, which was incredibly stupid. Because if you're gonna paint something that you want to be durable, you should not just put paint right up front. Anyway. I wasn't thinking about that, I was just like, I'll just put on paint. So there we have, you need the first issue. The paint just scrapes off. Um, I just, I kept, I kept scraping. I just didn't stop. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone stop me, please. Oh my goodness. Stop. I'm only making this worse. Oh. Same with the big one. I was like, you know what, I'll just paint over it. Which again, really stupid, don't do that. And I also had no idea what kind of design I wanted. I just sort of went for it. So, say goodbye to the colors you're about to see. But I started off with mixing a pastel pink, a pastel blue, and a pastel purple. And I colored the first three, I think. Um, with this color, it was a base. I don't really, I, I didn't know what, what I was doing. It was really stupid. Ooh, but that first fresh coat of paint looks really good though. But yeah, this isn't going to end well. And once again, it looks really satisfying to be honest. But still, it's, it's kind of sad if you realize this is all just waste at this point. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I guess the colors were cute, but that was about it. So, um, spoilers, I in the end took all of this off and literally the way I did it before, just with a knife scraping this all off because I couldn't shave it down or something. More waste, useless coats of paint, but okay, I was, I, was, I, just, I had no idea what I was doing at this point. <laughs> Still had no idea of a good design. Oh wow, and here we have the rare square footage. Beautiful. It's really rare, rare, but I was like, you know what? I'll just add it for once. Uh, there was an accident, of course. Anyway, so basically I had to restart this whole freaking thing. But here I was, um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this into something cute. I'm gonna make cats. I'm gonna make Russian dolls and they're gonna be cats. Russian Russian cat dolls. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, I don't know what that sound is. So I made cat ears from carton, cardboard, whatever. Stick them on there. And I know this looks really weird. But trust me, it will look good in the end. And I tried so much glue and they kept just like slightly slipping off. It was so annoying. <laughs> I tried ever. I tried to use tape. I tried to use paint. I tried everything. It took me way too long, but here we are. It's sticking finally. I don't know what I'm doing here, actually. <laughs> Probably cleaning up while this dries or something. Cool. So when it was a little bit dry, I added the first layers of not paint, but primer for acrylic paint. Wow! I learned clearly. So, um, I'm not gonna torture you guys with this footage over and over again. I added about five layers of primer. Yes, that is a sketch right there that I in the end didn't even use. Um, to make them as wide as possible. Later I realized that that was stupid and I didn't have to do that, but oh well. <laughs> I did it anyways. Now that I look at this footage, it may have been like six or so. Ah, look at that. All gorgeously pure white. So here I am adding details on all of them. I wanted to make cats 
but I still wasn't sure about the design of them. So I had the idea to make them in like a basket and it would be really cute and you would see their hands and their tail and it, I didn't, that didn't work out. Here is me. I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't have any gray paint and I wanted to make gray cats because why not? So I in the end decided to just mix black primer paint with white acrylic paint and still don't know if that works, but sometimes literally a mix can make or break your whole craft stuff. But I was just like, I, will, I just took the risk. In the end, I don't think I had any issues actually, but yeah. Here I am, out of focus. Everything is out of focus. But I'm painting the kitties black, or three of them actually. The biggest one, the smallest one, and the middle one. Did not say black, I meant gray. Here I'm adding some stripes to give them a little bit more detail, I guess. Just gray is a little bit boring. And details, oh goodness. Yeah, this was a nightmare. <laughs> not particularly the other ones, but the smaller one. Oh my goodness, the worst. So I in the end just went with a pencil. But look at that, it looked pretty good, I think. I just, um, that's, this just took forever. Also, they have no nose or whiskers, I'm aware of that. But they will get there, don't worry. So here I had the idea of painting the basket. Um, yeah, so I did that. <laughs> and I also added like a thin stripe. On the upper part of the doll. I don't know why I did that. I guess just to be a little bit more. I don't know why I did that. I just did it. <laughs> I did this on all of them. Uh, except the tiniest one. Because I was like. Yeah, I don't know. They can't split it apart. So why would I give them a basket? I don't know. They're inside the other. They don't need a basket. <laughs> I'm out of frame. I don't know why. Or what I'm doing. But. Oh I think I'm just touching up the edges. Probably. Or I'm doing something shady in the distance there. Ah, wonderful. More wrong framing issues. Wonderful. But what I was doing here is, I think... Oh yeah, there we go. I was adding uh, spots on the two white cats. Because I wanted to keep them white. And I don't know, spotted cats, they do exist. So why not? I think I only gave them uh, brown spots though. And later I think about it and I should have also given them like black spots, but I didn't do that. Well, and here I was trying to, for some reason, um, I wanted to make like a bow around it. Like a lint and a bow. And I changed that up in the end to just the bow. Here I'm making, uh, or just a lint. Oh, what am I talking about? I legitimately just removed that bow the moment I painted it. <laughs> Like, I made it and soon I'm gonna remove it because I was like, no, this is, I should just do a real bow if I want one. So I was struggling with the face on the white cat. I don't know why <laughs> the bigger white cat it was so annoying. In the end, I got it though. And I also added the whiskers and the nose, which were super cute. And oh, they are so cute. I love them. <laughs> And here I am adding a nice thick coat of glossy, um, I was about to say taco, but it's varnish actually. Um, I think I added two actually. Uh, usually I'm not that fond of glossy uh, varnishes because they stick pretty bad. But this time I was like, I'll just go for it. Okay, so now I wanted to add a actual lint around most of them. Or all of them actually. And I just had several ideas and types and I just kind of went with what I saw fit. The smallest one would get a bow for sure. And the biggest one would get some extra decoration. As you can see here, I added some flowers, roses, everything. Um, just to give it, I don't know, some extra detail, I guess. So once that was done, all I had to do was let it dry and I actually had adorable Russian doll cats. I don't even know how I got on the idea of making cats out of it, but I love cats, so why not? <laughs> Everything cats. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now!